Hey guys, we're back to the, um, the Hardcore Server Building series, and we are in the second episode. Guys, I am very happy to say that the resource pack has undergone a lot of changes since the last video. Uh, I've been busy kind of fixing things, trying to get things to match each other. I have been mix-matching things from the Button Odyssey resource pack I was previously working on and put it into this resource pack. So now there is differences in the trees, the leaves, the water, and of course, I improved the tower. So, we have Rubik's Cubes here for a nice little retro effect. And then underneath here we have sea lanterns that look like space, which you might have already seen before, but it'll give light time, er, light time. It'll give light in the nighttime to where it'll look like the Rubik's Cubes themselves are glowing, when in reality, it's actually the blocks beneath them. And then the middle one is Obsidian. I got that pic or that um, texture improved as well. And then the bricks. Guys, uh, as much as I love the rainbow look with the bricks, it was a little too much, okay? And it was kind of looking a little bit like puke pink. So I decided to change it to be something a little better. Uh, hold on, let me check something. For a minute I thought the recorder was off. OBS has been giving me a lot of problems today, so just be ready for a little bit of lag, maybe. But, um, so, so far I have fixed the nether brick as well, and the normal brick. I also added torches that, uh, look a little better. Um, modified the red brick. Added some smoother lily pads, a little bit smoother water, which I might work on later. And then, of course, the grass and the grass paths have been changed. Podzil was supposed to be changed, but unfortunately, something got messed up in the names, so I'm just gonna, um, rename that later. And then also the leaves. All the leaves are changed. I'm pretty sure everything but the dark oak, I think. And, of course, also went over and changed flower textures like the dandelions here and the poppies over here. Everything is getting changed. So guys, I am really hoping to just cover everything with this resource pack and really make it look like a whole new world. So, for now though, today we actually get to get into the building of things because last episode it was mostly me screwing up, so <laughs> I, uh, I hope that I actually can get stuff done. So, our main work for today is I was going to just start working on the wall, but I think it would probably be better to just finish off the top of this tower. So I think that the top of the tower probably isn't going to have anything special except maybe by a, a minecart rail later on. For now, we are just going to make it look decorative and add that heart that I mentioned previously. So let's go through here. Oh yes, and also add just to kind of show you around the research pack a little bit. Also improved the mossy cobblestone and normal cobblestone. So I added a little bit of a color change to where you can see the differences. And then I'm actually, just to show you guys a little bit of what all the changes are, because there, there, there's a big overhaul on, on stuff that got changed. I found a little time to rename everything and, and get the pack up and running again. So let me just show you this real quick the nether has gotten a very large change as well, and I'm planning on hopefully having a world where there's nether things. As you can see, the portal is looking a little bit smoother than just typical vanilla. Uh, I could have had it a little more smoother, but I kind of screwed up the laser tech, but uh, I might add some changes later. But for now, and sorry if there's a little bit of lag today, it's just not been my day <laughs> with uh, recording. Alright, so as you can see, the port sore has not been changed yet. However, Netherrack, to complement its cobblestone overworld uh, cousin, it is the same texture, only red. So, that's what Netherrack looks like, and then there's been a change to the glowstone as well. Tried to make it look um, a little more bubbly. Could use a little bit more of a bubbly look, but glows, it looks like glowstone and it's a little more improved. And I'll be uh, updating the fire and lava textures as well, but guys, I am probably very much boring you, and I'm lagging like crazy because I'm in the nether, so I'm just going to head out of here and go back to building on the actual, yeah, the actual lobby. You know, surprisingly, the portals are a lot faster than they are. And you know what 
that's another thing, guys. I love Java Edition. I just do. Like, Bedrock Edition is nice and all, but it doesn't have the, the, the usability like Java does. Like, seriously. Anyways, let's get to the top of this tower. Final. So, oh, might have bumped a mic there. <laughs> don't brick stairs, and uh, we don't need the cobblestone yet. Oh, I almost forgot to show you as well. There is a bit of a change to some end blocks as well. This is the new end stone. And this is the new... Oh, whoops. And by that, I mean... Oh, sorry, not end stone. Purper. <laughs> My match. Okay. This is the new purper pillar. So, things have been a bit more improved there. Just kind of getting the feel for all the textures, getting everything set up, so. We've got a nice deep purple block, and I'll probably complement it with a bit of a better looking end stone and end brick as well. But for now, we are just going to set it to time set day. There we go, because I'm having a problem with um, spiders spawning. They seem to all want to spawn around the tower. And they're really annoying because I haven't gotten their textures fully done yet, so they kind of look like ghosts. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it did it. Something with the, um, something with the texture. Let's see, <laughs> they look like ghosts and they sound like robots. So, still working on that. Anyway, back to what we were doing for the final freaking time. So guys, I am liking how it's going so far. As you can see, we've got the tower done. 
the first tower, which is the main entrance part. And I got the top with the heart that was previously mentioned. So, guys, we are really getting up there, like, as far <laughs> That's a pun towards the tower. But, guys, I think that this is actually coming out like I had hoped it was going to be. So I just, uh, I hope it... And, of course, it's dark in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to add some light. <laughs> but, should all work out like that. And if I add... Yep. I like the effect of the sea lanterns. I wasn't sure how this effect would be having the space thing replacing a sea lantern, but they look good underwater, and they light up, so it should still be alright. And, due to the slightly medieval look of it, of the tower, I can get away with putting in some extra torches without making it look messy at all. So, let's just add a couple. I may or may not find a different, uh, better light source later, but if you look up at the ceiling, it looks like there's outer space because of the sea lanterns so do you like that effect i think guys i really do think this is coming out pretty well so now we're going to head on to making the wall and the next four corner towers now i hope that this is a big enough space for it all i'm almost wondering if maybe i should add the flooring first though just because i do got this done but I'm a little tentative of going back to that command block after what happened last time, so uh, let's just leave this video to not have any screw-ups. So guys, I think that it's turning out pretty well so far. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this video a little bit short due to the um, uh, lack of time today. <laughs> but um, I guys hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the building. And as you can see, a great deal more work has been done. And I hope that in each video, more work than ever gets done each time. And I will be working on textures for the uh, redstone lamps and redstone blocks. As you can see, they kind of don't match because they're still on vanilla. But I will work on fixing that, and in the meantime, uh, catch you guys next time. Pixel Heart out.